were talking backstage, you did a great job of delivering the Democratic response to the State of the Union. Thank you. That has often been fraught, uh, whether it's a Republican delivering it or a Democrat uh, delivering a response. Uh, like Marco Rubio, for example, uh, uh, had to keep drinking water. How did you prepare for this moment? I hydrated well and okay. early. <laughs> I used a moisturizing but not glistening lipstick. Okay. Um, I practiced wandering in like I knew where I was and not like I was just walking off the stage. <laughs> Uh, and, and I prayed really hard. <laughs> and and uh, in that moment, uh, because I imagine that is when it starts is when you realize exactly how well prepared you are for it. Did you feel as though uh, you you good about the moment? So we decided to make sure, and I said happy Lunar New Year because uh, it was uh, the Lunar New Year. That's a hard word to say if you haven't practiced it before. Yeah, Lunar New Year. Yes, now trying to say happy Lunar New Year with a shot clock, and when you've overhydrated, it's really bad. <laughs> and when I practiced it, it sounded mangled. It was awful. <laughs> and so I really was like, please, God, just say this properly, and you'll be OK. And once that was done, I'm like, cool, Trump, whatever. <laughs> nice job. Very, very nice job. Uh, moving on uh, uh, to the name you just mentioned, you were, I'm you sorry. talked about, that's all right, we bring them up, too. He declared, uh, it sounds like he's going to declare a national emergency over this border wall. I guess to some degree we can't be surprised, but what is your uh, sort of uh, first reaction to this? I don't think laughter is appropriate, but um, <laughs> yeah, actually, laughter. Yeah. Uh, look, <laughs> I think he realizes he was outmatched by Nancy Pelosi, that he received, <laughs> yes, that he got less than he would have gotten had he not had a temper tantrum. Uh, but more than anything, it's not real. There is no emergency. It is not national. It is in his head. And he will be sued so many times. But what he's looking forward to, and I think we will give him, is that we will have a histrionic fit about this. And then we'll realize it's just like everything else he hasn't done. Why are we reacting to yet another untruth? So would, the, would your advice be then to just ignore it? Because obviously you want to bring legal challenges, it would seem. Oh, we should sue him, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Because left unchecked, he will declare national emergency because tanning beds are, are disappearing from the shelters. Right, right, yeah. But in all seriousness, I, I do think there is, a, there is necessary response, but it doesn't have to be public and it doesn't have to be constant. We validate his behavior by treating it as serious. What we should treat it as is fraudulent and fraught with egotism. And that means sue him, let him lose, and don't give him the credibility of treating this as serious.